Science 6. Weather Patterns in the Philippines Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to Define weather Identify the different components of weather Describe how weather changes from time to time Name the factors that affect the weather Weather is defined as the current condition of the atmosphere at a specific time and place. There are six main components or parts of weather. They are air temperature, atmospheric pressure, wind, humidity, precipitation, and clouds. 1. Air temperature refers to the hotness or coldness of the surrounding air. 2. Atmospheric pressure is the force exerted by the weight of the atmosphere. A low pressure area, LPA, is a region where the atmospheric pressure is lower than that of the surrounding environment. It is generally associated with rainy weather. A high pressure area, HPA, is region where the atmospheric pressure is greater than its environment. It is generally associated with nice weather. 3. Wind refers to the movement of air. 4. Humidity refers to the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. 5. Precipitation is any form of water that returns to the surface of the earth. Water droplets may fall down as rain, hail, sleet, or snow. 6. Clouds or water drops are ice crystals floating in the sky. The atmosphere is the layer of air that surrounds the earth. Meteorology is the scientific study of the atmosphere that focuses on weather processes and forecasting. Meteorologists are the scientists who study the weather and atmosphere. The Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, PAGASA, is the government agency responsible for providing information about public forecasts and weather advisories, typhoon warnings, flood, and other information. Weather pattern is the repeated weather conditions of a particular place and at a given time. Like the two types of weather in the Philippines, it will appear alternately throughout the year at different periods of time. Factors affecting weather patterns in the Philippines An air mass is a large body of air that has characteristics similar to the region of the Earth's surface over where it develops. The location of the air mass where it is developed determines its characteristics. Air mass which develops over tropical oceans is hot and humid while air mass that develops in the continents covered with ice is cold and dry. So, when you observe a change in weather from one day to the next, it is due to the movement of air masses. Front is a boundary between two air masses of different density, moisture or temperature. There are four types of fronts which include cold, warm, occluded, and stationary. A warm front is the boundary along a warm mass pushing out a cold air mass. It is an atmospheric feature that acts to replace cool or cold air with warm air. Warm fronts often bring stormy weather as the warm air mass at the surface rises above the cool air mass, making clouds and storms. When a front passes by, the sky will become clear. Temperature rises as warm air replaces cold air. A cold front is the boundary along the leading edge of a cold air mass pushing out a warm air mass. It is an atmospheric feature that gradually brings cooler air into an area. Cold fronts will often act to replace areas of warmer air with cold air or areas of cold air with warm air. As the cold front passes, winds become gusty. There is a sudden drop in temperature and heavy rain that is sometimes with thunder and lightning. After a cold front moves through your area, you may notice that the temperature is cooler, the rain has stopped, and the cumulus clouds are replaced by stratus and stratocumulus clouds or clear skies. Occluded front forms when cold front overtakes a slower moving warm front, making the warm air mass squeezed between two cold air masses. At an occluded front, the cold air mass from the cold front meets the cool air that was ahead of the warm front. 
The warm air rises as these air masses come together. Occluded fronts usually form around areas of low atmospheric pressure. A stationary front occurs when a boundary between air masses stops advancing. It will remain in the same place for several days. A jet stream is the name given to the area of air above where two air masses of different temperature converge, like when a cold front meets a warm front. A monsoon is a continuous change in the direction of the prevailing winds in a region. Prevailing wind is the strongest wind in the region that blows in a particular direction. Our country experiences two distinct monsoons, the Northeast and Southwest Monsoon. Southwest Monsoon is called, Hanging Habagat, in the Philippines. It brings significant rainfall to the western part of the country from May to September. Northeast Monsoon is called, Hanging Amiha, by Filipinos. It is a cool and dry east or northeast breeze with prolonged periods of successive cloudy days. It may also bring rains to the eastern part of the country from November to March. Practice Exercise What is the current condition of the atmosphere at a specific time and place? The answer is weather. What is the repeated weather conditions of a particular place and at a given time? The answer is weather pattern. What are the different components of weather? Air temperature, atmospheric pressure, wind, humidity, precipitation, and clouds are the components of weather. What are the factors that affect the weather? Air mass and fronts are factors that affect the weather.